Hey, this is Dion. We are talking about why is it so hard to learn how to code? Why is it so hard? You know, you look everywhere, you see all of these coding boot camps, you know, free code camp, code academy, like everybody's pushing code. These three little words that make it seem so easy, learn a code. Like you just go out here and, oh, you just learn how to code real quick and then just go get a job real quick and then just have a successful career real quick, right? Well, it doesn't really work like that. Learning how to code is hard. And here's the reason why it is hard. Uh, the brain, the human brain is very efficient at just getting rid of stuff that it perceives to be totally useless to you. So you spend all your hard work, all your blood, sweat, and tears sitting at this computer, learning how to code. Uh, you go to sleep that night, and you wake up the next day, and all of a sudden, like a mom that's cleaning up their kid's room, the subconscious has taken everything you've learned and threw it out. It's and put it in a trash bag and set it outside. And you're like, hey, wait a minute. Don't throw this out. <laughs> what are you doing? So that's what makes it so hard to learn. Because part of learning is retaining the information that you put in your brain so that you can use it again. Um, but uh, if the brain continuously perceives this information as you don't need this and throws it out, makes it difficult uh, for retention and so learning how to code is hard because it's hard to convince the subconscious that you actually need these concepts that you're learning and the only way to do that is through constant repetition putting it before your brain over and over and over again hey i need this do not throw it out so now another reason that it's so difficult to learn how to code is the way that the human brain thinks is not the way a computer thinks. So that's pretty difficult. When we think, we think in like whole ideas. I'm going to go to the store to buy some ingredients to make this meal, right? So pretty much the easy part is just going to the store right but you try programming a computer to do that they need to know hey, what time am i exiting where where's the car what side of the vehicle are am i getting in on how am i pulling off am i turning left right which street how fast am i driving all of these instructions before you even get to the store get the ingredients and then it needs a whole set of long list of instructions just to get back home that's not really how the brain thinks you know the brain again is is set to be resourceful when we go out to the store we're just we improv in this i'm gonna just go out i'm gonna start driving and i'm gonna head in this direction and i should end up at the store <laughs> that's not how a computer looks at it so it's hard to make our minds uh, think the way a computer thinks now another uh, thing and uh, keeping in this same concept of like if you're gonna go somewhere um, when you're learning how to code there's like a million ways to do the same thing now you might look at that at first and like and think hey that's good that means <laughs> I got multiple ways I could choose from that means you know it's it's kind of hard to like it's kind of hard to get lost and that's absolutely false just think about if you were somewhere that you've never been before and you stopped and asked for somebody uh you ask somebody for directions to get somewhere and then they start saying well you could go here you could you can go uh, north down this street uh, make a left at the first stop sign then make a right or you could go south down this street, 
make a right at the first stoplight, make a left. Then they just start naming like 10 different ways to get someplace. And you're like, look, just look, I'm not even from here. Will you just give me the best way without a lot of traffic, without a lot of construction or potholes? Can I can you just give me some directions to get here? Matter of fact, it doesn't matter. Just I need to know the easiest way to get here. And see, with code, there's like a million ways to do stuff. You know, you got all these JavaScript frameworks out here. You know, you got all of this just fluff and, and you know, some all oh, this new thing we're going to do now. And, oh, that, that framework wasn't good enough because it didn't have this extra bell and whistle. So now we come up with this framework. Well, or, an, oh, you know. This framework is not really that different. We just named it something else. It's like, come on. So there's there's a million different ways to do stuff. And it makes it hard to start learning when you're going in all different directions, just trying to get to one destination. Get turned around real quick. So with that too, as you're learning, things get outdated really quickly in tech. So you're learning, you pick up a book or you uh, look at some tutorial, a video on the internet and you're following along. The instructors, their code is working perfectly. You look up, your your code is broken for some reason. Why is, my, why is this stuff working? We have the same operating system. I'm using everything, everything's the same. You know, then you do a, a Google search and you find out Hey, this way to call this API has been deprecated. So, <laughs> so now you have to use this way. Well, that's not in the book, you know, or that's not in the tutorial. But in just what a year, now all of a sudden this API or or this method, uh, this method on in, in JavaScript or whatever has now been deprecated or or this doesn't work with this new version of this browser so things get outdated quick uh, there's a million ways to do things there's just a lot to this and then the brain is not helping by like constantly forgetting the stuff that you worked hard to learn so learning to code is hard there's more reasons than than this but just wanted to do a quick rant on <laughs> Why is it so hard, you know? And you think your own brain would be on your side. So that's the way it goes, though. So give me a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.